All right, all right, settle down. I'ma say a few words. Hey, look, I'd clink a glass to get y'all's attention, but we only had a budget for these red solo cups. <laughs> all right, listen. Thank you all for being here at the first annual Team Skull Halloween lock-in, hosted by your boy. I just wanted to say, before we get too wrapped up in partying, congratulations on kicking so much ass this past year. And, um, <clears throat> thank you all for being here with me. I know we're all a bunch of screw-ups and misfits and headaches, but people out there, they don't get us. They don't want to even try to get us. But that's okay. That's all right. Because we got each other. Y'all know I'm not exactly one to go and get in my feelings. And the last thing I want to do is blow up y'all's egos and junk. But I just wanted to say... I appreciate you. And I appreciate that you all appreciate each other too. <sighs> I'm pretty damn lucky I get to call all y'all my squad. But even more than that... I'm happy to call y'all my friends. Okay, 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 settle down, knock it off, or I'll kick all y'all's asses. Speaking of which, I hope you don't mind catching a beating tonight, because I'm announcing our first event of the night, starting right now. It's a game of squad hide-and-go-seek, in the dark. Lights out. Pick a partner and get to hiding. Plumes and Mimsy, they're on seeking duty. <laughs> Good luck. Mimsy is going to be in his element. <laughs> hey, you ain't picked a partner yet? Don't tell me you were waiting for me. <laughs> hey, look, I'm playing. But we better go because everybody else got a head start. Damn. Come on, this way. <laughs> Fuck. Everybody's taking all the good spots. What about... No, that's too obvious. Trust me. Mimsy will know to look there. Just because he knows... Damn. Okay, hold on. I got a spot. The closet with the broken handle. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I got magic hands. I can get it open, no problem. Yeah, right here. Uh, lift it like this. Twist it like that. Uh. <laughs> Come on, get in. Oh, it's even darker in here than it was out there. And kind of cramped. <laughs> yeah, it's just a it's just a coat closet basically. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's okay. You good? Nah, nah, don't worry about it. Snuggle up in here. It's all good. <laughs> hey, thanks for waiting for me. I wasn't sure I was even going to have a partner for this. I definitely didn't think I was going to wind up like this. I mean, you know, all uh, <laughs> up close and personal with someone so hot, and you in particular? Damn. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> shit, I, uh, d did you silence your phone? Uh, hold on, let me, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there, um, uh, oh, oh. You're, you're so red. Are you? 
Ah, shit. Well, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I didn't mean to make things weird with me saying that thing about you being hot. I just... I don't want to be that dude. Uh, we're friends. I, I just... Just forget about it. Uh, I don't know what I was... Uh, what? Uh, I... Uh, um... <clears throat> Hold on. What are you doing? You... What? You want me? I... I mean, why me? There are a lot of really other great homies in the squad. Real catches. I... Yeah, I'm just... I'm just me. You... You really feel that way? You feel that way about me? No, 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 no. It's not a bad thing. Not at all. Not not even a little. But, but like, there's like way better dudes out there than me. And you're so... I mean, you're pretty damn amazing. You're way out of my league. Mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. I, oh, hold on, oh, mm. where'd you learn to kiss like that? No, it's, it's good, trust me, but, oh, hold on, <clears throat> you, you deserve someone who knows what they're doing, is what I'm trying to say, oh, uh, yo, yo, <laughs> that, uh, your hands, your hands are soft. Mm. Mm. Nah, nobody's ever, um, nobody's felt up my shirt like that before. <laughs> or kissed my neck like that. Or anywhere else, for that matter. Sh show me. What? Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. N no, no one's grabbed me like that either. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, that feels good. I'm, hey, I'm trying to be quiet, but how can I when you're squeezing on me like... <sighs> whoa, whoa, are you... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's fine. It's y you. Y yeah, I I'm okay with it. Your hand is warm. But you gotta know something. I, I never really... I never really done anything like this before. So, I mean, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, are you sure you wanna? Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh, precious little pet.
You didn't really think I forgot all about you, did you? Come on. The boss would never, ever forget about his beloved plaything. His loyal, needy, messy little toy. You got no idea how bad I missed you. Your boy's been working hard. Real fucking hard. Building my kingdom one brick at a time. But I haven't forgotten. Oh no. Matter of fact. You've been on my mind. I haven't forgotten how sweet you are for me. How much... You long to please the one who collared you. And for that, well... You deserve a reward, don't you think? I certainly think so. Come here. <laughs> it's all right. No need to be so timid. Has it really been that long that you're nervous? Hmm. Don't worry. I'm in no rush. We can take our time. My lap? My lap will be ready for you whenever you're ready. I gotta admit, I've been missing you something fierce, you know. There hasn't been a single night I wasn't thinking about having you by my side. Taking care of me and all of my needs. <laughs> and you, well, you know your boy likes to return the favor. Leaving you all alone? It hasn't just been hard on me, I know. You've been so patient. So damn good for me. And I, I want to reward that obedience. Reward you for being so good. Such a sweet, attentive, obedient little pet. You do deserve a reward, don't you? <laughs> I tell you what, I can start you off nice and slow, pet you gently, tell you how beautiful you are. Oh, you like the sound of that, don't you? Come on. Closer. Closer. Just a little closer for me. Come. There you are. That's my sweetheart. <laughs> Look at you. Shivering just from me barely even touching you. <laughs> oh, I missed you too, my sweet little pet. I've, I've missed you so damn bad. <laughs> Look at you. So pretty with those loving eyes, cute cheeks, warm smile. Oh, <laughs> you know. Loving you is so damn easy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no, no. No kisses yet. You waited this long. It wouldn't hurt just to wait a little longer, would it? No. 
I want you to savor that ache, that longing. Savor the desire, that want. I want you to remember just how bad you want me, how bad you missed me, how bad you need this. I want you to remember. So the next time that I'm away, you got something special to think about. The way you're perched on my lap like this, perched on top of that. <laughs> yeah. How you're burning up for me. <laughs> with desire. Focus on my hands. You're so small in my hands. <laughs> oh. The things I could do to you. The things you would let me do to you. Unspeakable. But we don't need to speak it, do we? No. I already know. Just from the look in your eyes. Just from the look on your face. From the way your back arches as I rub my hand across your shoulders. And down your spine. Oh, and the way you start to grind up on me when I put my hands on your waist. Mm. <laughs> you, you're practically in heat for me, aren't you? I could tear you apart if I wanted to, and you'd fucking love it. Shit, you'd thank me and beg for more, wouldn't you? And I'd give it to you. Oh, and I would give it to you. Because I'm such a loving master. <laughs> because I'm such a loving, caring owner of a precious little pet. Don't you forget it. <laughs> oh. Now, give me that neck. <laughs> Tonight, you're mine. Hey, you're home. How's it going? Babe? You look, um... Uh... Whoa, I wasn't going to say anything rude. You just look like you had a long day is what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't dare cross you when you look like you're ready to bludgeon anybody who gets between you and relaxation. <sighs> Work really kicked your ass, huh? Well, don't you worry. Your boy is here to wait on you hand and foot. What do you want? Food? Drink? The blood of your shitty co-workers? No? Well, alright, I'll check that all off the list. <laughs> oh, a kiss? Well, that would have been at the top of the list, but I know better than to just dive right in all, oh yeah, my love will totally heal your mental and physical anguish. Sexual healing, baby. <laughs> Come here. How's about you get comfortable and I'll take care of you, hmm? Mm. 
<laughs> you should at least kick off your shoes, boo. Come on. Hey, even after a hard day at work, you still look damn good. You know that, right? <laughs> I ain't just saying that. You're beautiful. And honestly, that look of bloodthirst in your eyes, it, it really ties the whole thing together. It, it's actually kind of hot. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, there you go. Anything to see you smile, baby. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, I know you weren't gone long, but I don't know. Anytime we're apart, you're always on my mind. Here, let me rub you back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, lay down. Everything's going to be all right. All that nonsense at work. You got this. But let's focus on us, huh? Forget all that nonsense. Right now, it's just me and you, baby. You feel that? <laughs> My bad. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> you look damn good from the back. <laughs> you look damn good from the front, too. I'm just saying... Uh... <sighs> hey, look. Your boy is an ass man, alright? And, uh... Baby... I love that ass. <laughs> uh, you like it when I squeeze you? Mm, rub you just right? <laughs> oh. So what'll it be? You gonna let your boy hit it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> mm. Hey babe, what you doing? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So what you're really saying is that you've been up here all day procrastinating. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't deny it now. I remember you telling me you had some stuff to get done. And I'm pretty sure you've just been in here all day chilling. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you don't gotta try and fool me. I'm a damn good procrastinator myself. Trust me. I'll just put one thing after another on the back burner till the next thing I know, I got a whole pile of stuff I tried to ignore, and then it all comes crashing down. And I gotta do it any damn way. <sighs> yeah, but you know all that, don't you? I'm not trying to beat you down, sweetie. I know that stuff just leads to more stress anyways, and the last thing I want to do is make it any worse. <sighs> Here. How about I chill with you, and we can figure this out together? Oh, oh you got jokes now, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, boyfriend of the year. 
Don't you forget it, baby girl. <laughs> so what do we got to do to get you feeling motivated, eh? Hmm. I don't know. I guess we better put our heads together and figure out just what it is that makes you tick. What if I promise to take you out to get your favorite food? Or hmm, maybe a special trip or, or a date? Huh. Okay. Something that'll motivate you right now, not later. Well... Huh, what do I got that would get you fired up to get this stuff done? You don't know. Hey, you're not making the kind of face that someone who don't know would make. Well, don't be shy now, baby. What is it? My voice? Is that right? Huh. I see. So let me get this straight. You like it when I get real close to your ear like this? And then what? You want me to tell you about my day? Talk about the weather? Or do you got something in particular you want to hear me say, hmm? You don't want to tell me. Oh, well, come on, baby. You can tell me. It's all right if it's a little naughty. Or are you going to make me guess? Is that the game you're trying to play? Listen up. Daddy's little girl better get her work done. Starting right now. That's right. I'll be right here motivating you. But you better stay focused. If it turns into too much of a distraction, I'll stop. Understand? Good. Very good. <sighs> so this is what you like, huh? My breath right up against your neck? Hand on your waist, squeezing just tight enough to let you know that I've got you. Getting some special attention from the boss. Hmm. The others might even get jealous. That's all right, though. You're my baby girl. Hmm. <laughs> What are you squirming for? Rubbing your thighs together like that? Are you okay? Huh? I can't hear you. <laughs> mm, good girl. I tell you what. Maybe you'll be even more motivated if you sat in my lap. Yeah, I think that's a real good idea, actually. Come on, up here. Oh, don't worry about that. It's fine. Get nice and comfortable for me. <laughs> oh, that's it. You just focus on your work. And I'll just be here. Go on, you can do it. <laughs> oh. Hey, you're awfully cute when you're trying to focus. Productivity is my kink. <laughs> oh. You just keep working. I tell you what. Mind if I rub your back a bit? <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. That's it. Just relax. Just relax and focus. 
I'm right here. I ain't going nowhere. And you know what? You finish your work? Well, maybe we can find some other ways to motivate you. You know, in case there's uh, anything else you need to get done. Hell, as a matter of fact, I think there's some work I need to get done too. Mm hmm. Yeah, some I've been needing to get done for a little while now. <laughs> yeah. This cute little thing right here in my lap. <laughs> mm. Mm, maybe we can do that later. Hmm. Stay focused. Hey, look, you'll be done in no time. I believe in you. That's it. I'm proud of you, baby girl. Hmm. <laughs> hey, careful with all that wiggling around. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you feel that, huh? Mm. Don't worry about that. I'm good. As long as you're good, too. Hey, look at you. You made a ton of progress already. Hey, but look. You keep grinding on me like that. <laughs> All that work might have to wait. Or maybe that's exactly what you want, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know your little tricks. <laughs> I tell you what. You keep on working. And, uh... I'll put in a little bit of work, too, here in a minute. Yeah, you like the sound of that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, tilt your head a little to the side. Yeah, give me that neck. I tell you what, baby. Why don't we take a little break? I think I got something that'll really motivate you. You like the sound of that? <laughs> yeah, I thought you would. Hmm. Come on, then. Hmm. <laughs> I look, you know all the grunts gotta pull their weight around here, right? Plume says we need to run a tighter ship, so everyone gets their own chores and it rotates. But I keep hearing that a certain member of the squad has been slacking. You, uh, wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Oh, oh no, I'd never ask you to snitch on a fellow grunt. <sighs> Look, don't play dumb. You know that I know that you know I'm talking about you. Now either we're going to rectify this situation, or I'm going to have to cancel you. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face, I know. Who even says that? <laughs> really though, you're going to find some sort of task that you can do or I'm going to personally see to it that you're on bathroom duty with nothing but a toothbrush and a dream, you hear me? Alright, that's what I thought. <sighs> so what kind of special skills you got, Grunt? 
aside from being a profoundly bad liar. No. No, finding spicy memes in the middle of the night is not a special skill. Oh, a massage. Now that's thinking outside the box. I don't know if that's exactly what I had in mind, but... Uh, I don't know. Your boy has been feeling real tense lately. And I'd probably be able to come up with a much better idea for your chores if I was feeling a bit more clear-headed. Hmm. So I tell you what. Help me work out these kinks. And we'll find a proper chore for you to handle along with the squad. <sighs> aye, aye. Shirt is coming off. Yo, yo, okay, don't laugh. I haven't exactly been hitting the gym or eating a well-balanced diet. I'd be a total schlub if I didn't have to carry the squad on my back all the time. What? No. No, you're not missing out on piggyback rides. I didn't mean it literally. <sighs> oh, you are something else. I, I. So I'm just gonna, like... Flop down and let you do your thing? Aye. <sighs> okay then. Eh? Huh? If somebody comes in, what? You're just giving me a massage. It ain't like it's nothing freaky. Honestly, walking in on me getting a massage is like one of the most normal things people could walk in on when it comes to me. <laughs> uh, it's better if you don't ask. <sighs> All right, Grunt, let's see what you can do. I, my hypothesis is you don't actually know how to give a massage at all, and you're just talking shit. Oh, oh okay, then prove me wrong. Huh? Uh, uh. I... Yeah, you feel that? Yeah, that... That tension in my shoulders? Yeah, that's from... That's from grunts like you stressing me the hell out. Go on, get it. Ah. Oh, damn. Oh. Alright, maybe you know what you're doing. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I'm good. What? Don't don't people normally make noises when they get massages? Are you are you judging me? Hey, look. You're going to judge me. You we we can, you can just go ahead and be on bathroom duty. That's fine. Go on, get off of me. Okay then, keep going. Damn. You talk a lot of smack for a grunt, you know that? Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh. Well, yeah. I guess it ain't really smack talk if you can back it up, huh? Yeah, you can go lower. <laughs> the hell are you asking my permission for? You're the expert. Well, allegedly. Ah. <sighs> uh. <sighs> oh shit. <sighs> oh, right there. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Keep going. Oh. 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 Hey, look. I can hear you chuckling back there. Oh. 
Oh, what? Should I should I just bite my tongue then? What do you mean it's awkward? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what you mean. Maybe you have to uh lay it out for me. My noises sound like what? What's the matter, me? I've got your tongue. Uh, <laughs> you'd rather not say. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? You can't handle a little bit of grunting and groaning. <laughs> you into that sort of thing? It's all right, you can tell me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, if you like it so much, why'd you stop massaging me? Oh. Uh. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's fun picking on you. I, I, if you're getting uncomfortable, you can stop. Oh, it's just fun teasing you. <laughs> oh, look at you, y'all red in the face. <laughs> All right, Hansy McGee. I appreciate the massage for real. And, uh, now that I know your little weakness, uh, <laughs> I might have to have a little fun with you. Oh, don't worry. I got plans. But, uh, I'm gonna let you go for now. What are you staring at? Hey, look, I told you. I'm a little out of shape. Let me just give my shirt back. Oh, oh, I can leave it off? Oh, well. Thanks for giving me permission, babe. <laughs> now scram. I'll, uh, I'll let Plumes know that you handled the whole chore situation. But if I find out you've been slacking again, shit, I might have to get a little bit more than a massage. <laughs> I, I brought you some medicine, some water, and if you actually drink it all, I've got your favorite snacks, and even more water. <sighs> I'm real sorry your back is killing you, babe. Oh, well, no, nah, no, nah, don't apologize. Going out is overrated. I'm perfectly happy just kicking it here at the crib with you. It's kind of nice getting to take care of you like this. Usually it's the other way around since your boy doesn't know how to take his own advice and look after himself. Tell you what, how's about I rub your shoulders a bit? Come on, scooch on over here. I got you. So it's your back again, huh? Damn. You know, you'd think with posture like mine I'd be in the same boat, but I'm kind of the embodiment of dumb luck. The snapping and cracking when I stand up straight, <sighs> you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so what's got you all knotted up? Stress? The weight of your brilliance weighing you down? Your chakras out of alignment or something? <laughs> hey, look, I'm just throwing things out there because normally when I bring it up, you just change the subject. I just want to know if there's any way I can help. Embarrassing? Aw, oh, you, you can talk to me. There ain't no reason to get embarrassed. Endowed? You... Oh... Uh, oh... 
titty. Big. I should have guessed. Ugh. I can see how that might put a strain on your back. What? N no. No, I'm not going to laugh at you. Believe me, I'd punch the heck out of anything or anyone that ever hurt you. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I'm not going to punch you in the boob, because then you're just going to have a hurt back and a bruised boob, but... Uh, look, I'll just keep massaging you, and I'll try not to make you laugh anymore. But no promises. Uh, this must be what they meant when they say with great power comes great responsibility. Hey, what I say about drinking all the water? I'm not a scientist, but hydration is key to feeling good. Or so I'm told. You're always so damn thirsty, it's time to drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep massaging you. Hey, look, regardless of why you're in pain, I'm just sorry that you're hurting. Chronic pain is no joke, no matter what the deal is. Oh, shucks. You don't gotta thank me. You know I'm always happy to lend a hand. Or two. Uh, <laughs> definitely two hands if you need help carrying those puppies around. You could just wear me like a backpack and I'll, uh, lift your spirits. And your titties. <laughs> okay, but really... How about this? Why don't we cuddle a bit? And hey, maybe if I squeeze you just right, your back will pop right into place. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be gentle. I'm not gonna put you up in a torture rack or anything. Just soft cuddles, the way you like it. <sighs> hey. I love you, even when you look half ready to slap me silly. Hey, it bums me out seeing you like this. I just, you know, I want you to feel better. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes just to make sure you're alright. <laughs> it's not meant to make you feel bad. I'm just saying, like, you know, I care about you and stuff. Your well-being means a lot to me. <sighs> yeah, my well-being means a lot to you, too. <laughs> uh, hey, look, you know I ain't got away with words, but... <laughs> you know, I love you and stuff. I know that ain't really gonna make you feel any better, but... I'm always happy to take your mind off of things. Mm. <sighs> Just rest up, okay? And yeah, you can have the snacks, even if you don't finish your water. <sighs> Alright, squad, listen up. That storm really did a number on the beach, and as you well know, there are a few among us who need to rack up some community service hours. Our job is to clean up this beach, but also, there are some hidden treasures among all this debris. Like this. What the hell do you mean it looks like trash? This is a perfectly good cooler. You just gotta clean it up a bit and voila. Add ice and some Mountain Dew, maybe a couple of White Claws, and boom! You're ready for a picnic! Use your imagination! <sighs> so, this pile over here is for trash, and this one over here is for treasure. So show me what you got and get to work. First person to find me some treasure gets a special reward, so don't screw around. 
Hell yeah, look at him go. It's good to be the boss. Oh, we got some treasure already? Show me what you got. A what? Look, Blue. I know I said to use your imagination, but that's not a poncho. That's literally a garbage bag. So where does it go? That's right. It goes in the trash pile. Oh, come on. Don't get mad. Get glad. Am I right? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go check out the rest of the beach. Y'all keep doing your thing here. Hey, Plumes. Make sure these knuckleheads don't get carried away with the whole one man's trash is another man's treasure thing. Okay? Thanks. <sighs> Damn. What a mess. Yo. Wimpods, you out here? Their whole home is a wreck. Hey, hey little dudes, let me help you. Uh, where are we going to put this junk? <laughs> Let's just get it out of your way for now. M maybe over there? That might be a nice spot. Wait. What the? Hey. Hey, you. What are you doing over there? You can't just lounge around while my little homies are stressing over their home. Come on. What? Wait. What? Hey. You. <clears throat> you are, uh, you're a, you're a mer person. Whoa, whoa, ho hold up. No need to be startled. Uh, no, no. I was only yelling because I thought you were some bum laying out here soaking up the sun while everything was a mess. Not some sort of, like, mythical being. Uh, <laughs> it looks like you had the uh, misfortune of getting beached during the storm. Well, well yeah, I I'm just a regular dude. Human man thing. You never seen someone like me before? Well, <laughs> I guess the feeling is mutual. More people? I mean, well, yeah. I got my friends down the beach a ways. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna go get them. I wouldn't turn you into some sort of spectacle. I might look big and bad. Well, <laughs> I mean, I am big and bad. But I ain't gonna be big and bad to you. I can be downright sweet sometimes. Well, I ain't never really been in this kind of scenario before. Can I come a little closer or are you gonna smack me with that tail of yours? <laughs> uh, look, mostly I just need to see if you're not just a normal person with a fancy fake tail pulling a fast one on me. Yeah, a fast one. I mean, like... Like a trick. Deceiving me. Sorry, I'm not the most verbose guy on the planet. Oh, see? Now you're laughing at me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Alright, so this is happening. You just need to get back to the water, right? Can't have you drying up out here on the beach. Well, well, yeah, of course I'm gonna help you. Do I really look that intimidating? Uh, well, yeah, I guess that's on purpose, but I'm not some kind of villain. Who could leave a cutie like you all beached up and miserable out here? That's just cruel. So... So I can just pick you up and take you out to the water, yeah? What's that face for? Hey, look, I'm not trying to cop a feel. You're the one out here all 
exposed and shit. No sense in being embarrassed now. Come on. Uh, up you go. See? Your boy is sneaky strong. Huh? Hold on. What? What are you... Okay, look, I was happy to show off my strength a little bit, but you're a whole-ass person. Hey, what are you giving me that look for? Oh, oh, oh no. Nah, don't tell me it's like merfolk mating season or something. I thought you were drying out up here, but maybe you still got a little bit of moisture going on. <laughs> hey, hold up. I was just... <clears throat> <clears throat> I was just kidding. I wasn't expecting you to. Uh, oh, whoa. Hey. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> Careful. Y you really don't have much of a sense of personal boundaries, do you? Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. If you've never seen or touched a human before. Just. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, hey. Be careful where you're grabbing. D don't. <laughs> don't squeeze that. What? Ah! Ah! Oh. <sighs> hey. What the? What? What? You suddenly got legs! What kind of magical fuckery is this? Also, if the squad rolls up and finds me with a naked cutie like you, they're gonna think all kinds of stuff. So let's. Uh. Huh? Do you look alright? I mean, shit. You look a lot more than alright, believe me. But we're gonna use some of this washed up seaweed to make you something to cover up your, uh, your bits. What, you, you mean to tell me you really didn't know you could just poof yourself some legs? That's... Well, I mean, it all sounds crazy, but here we are. I've seen some shit in my day, so I've learned not to ask too many questions. Staring? Who's staring? What? Hey, you Wimpods better appreciate that I'm trying to fix your home. Don't judge me for being a good citizen trying to help out a magical cutie in distress. Don't mind them. They're cool. Just nosy. And speaking of nosy, my friends are going to be asking a bunch of questions when they meet you, so... Well, I mean, that is if you plan on staying on land. Well, of course. If you want to stick around, I'll look after you. I ain't just gonna leave you high and dry. Well then, come on. We're cleaning up the beach. But I think we can make a little time to meet some new friends. Let's go. You know, you keep staring at your tea like that. It's gonna go cold. <laughs> hey, relax. I didn't mean to startle you. But I saw you out here looking all lonesome, and I thought... Eh, I thought I should give you some space. And then I got impatient and decided to come break the ice. You know it breaks my heart to see you hurting like this. So I couldn't just sit back and watch. You mind if I sit with you? Okay, cool. <sighs> I know it ain't easy. It's never easy to say goodbye to someone you cared about. I won't... I won't get too specific. We don't gotta talk about all that. Because I know the wounds are fresh and... Talking about it... Specifically... It can make things worse, I know. So your boy's gonna be delicate. Cause I ain't here to make you cry no more than you already have. I'm also gonna do my best not to just rehash a bunch of cliche bullshit you already heard. And you already know. You know, you're a lot like me when it comes to taking our own advice. In your head, 
you already know how to deal with letting go and moving on. You've helped others who were in that same spot you're in now. This ain't new to you. <sighs> but it's easy when you're on the outside looking in. In your heart, well, that's a different story. Sometimes, sometimes you just need a little reassurance. So, so let me tell you some of the things a smart, caring person such as yourself would tell someone in your shoes. The kind of stuff you'd say to me if our roles were reversed. It's okay to hurt, to cry, and mourn what you've lost. But if you can, you gotta think about the positive stuff. The good memories. The happy times. The moments you cherish. And if you gotta cry, cry because of the joy that fills your heart when you look back on those times. No situation. No relationship. No life. It's perfect, but as you go on, you have to make a choice about what it is you want to take with you into the future. And in my opinion, the best thing you can take with you is love. Even if it's imperfect. Even if you've had to clean up a mess left behind. Even if there are things you'll never get to resolve. And things left unsaid. In the end, love, love can outlast all of that. I know. I know. It hurts. I wish I could tell you when the pain will stop. When you'll just wake up and be okay. But I don't know. And you don't know. There's no easy answer. And it sucks. It sucks. But if you're able to put on a brave face and accept it, that pain, that pain will run its course. Saying goodbye It's never easy. The circumstances, they're not always the same. Hell, there's a lot of different ways you have to say goodbye in life. To different people. At different times, at different places in your life. Sometimes, sometimes you're the one walking away. Sometimes other people are taken from you. And you don't always understand why. You don't always want it to be like it is. But sometimes you just don't really get a say in the matter, you know? What I've found, what I've found is that goodbye just means starting another chapter. And you might not always want to start another chapter without somebody. But you got to turn that page. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you know all of this already. I think, on some level, we all do, right? We're built a lot tougher than we think we are. I know you sure as hell are. Anybody who can put up with my ass for this long is definitely tough as nails. <laughs> I've watched you overcome so much in the time that I've known you. Don't forget what you've been through and how far you've come. How much you've grown. 
feeling all of these feelings? It isn't some sort of weakness or anything like that. It just means you care. And to be cared for by someone as wonderful as you, that's a gift. I hope that makes sense. <sighs> now, would you like me to go heat up your tea? Because sad room temperature tea isn't going to cheer anybody up. No? See, I knew I shouldn't have held your hand. Now you'll never let go. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Hey, babe. You asleep? <laughs> oh, yeah, you are out like a light. Good. You just keep on sleeping. Yeah, let me cover you up. There. All safe and warm. You'll have to tell me where it is you go in your dreams that you wage war on all the blankets. Look at this. Everything on the floor. <laughs> oh, my little fighter. You know, there are times when you feel so far away. It's like, I don't know, it's like you're disappearing. I have to reach out and touch you just to convince myself that you're real and that I haven't just imagined all this. I used to have dreams before we met about the perfect person. I'd always wake up before I could see their face. But there's not a doubt in my mind. They look just like you. The difference is, hey, you're better than any dream I've ever had. There's times like tonight where I wonder if I don't just cease to exist outside of your memory. I think about all the good things that have happened since we met. <laughs> all the wonderful changes. I don't know who I was before, but I'm not sure I recognize him now. Ever since I saw myself in your eyes, I've wanted nothing more than to be the person you believe me to be. I'm sure there were times it seemed like I went out of my way to prove you wrong. That you must have had the wrong guy. Hey, but you never stopped having faith in me. And that faith, it always pulls us through, huh? All this time since I met you, it's been amazing. It's like I've been walking in a dream. And I gotta fight this fear that it's all too good. I get this crazy feeling that things are bound to go wrong. <laughs> That probably sounds silly, but your boy knows how to fuck a good thing up, you see. There are things that I want for us to have so badly, it almost hurts to hope for them. I, I guess I want yesterday, today, and tomorrow all at once. I want everything that has to do with you. Love. <laughs> the squad gave me such a hard time when they found out how bad I had it. I swear to God, babe, it took every ounce of strength I had not to lose it on them for laughing at me. <laughs> they said I was crazy. And maybe I am. But they don't really know us. They don't understand yet. 
<sighs> they don't know how it is, but when it's right, it's right. And when you know, you know. That's all I can tell them. Nah. Nah, this is the one thing in my life that I'm sure about. You're the one constantly good thing in my life. And I never, ever do anything to screw this up. I know that maybe sometimes I don't say it enough. I can be kind of dumb with words sometimes. But rest assured... Rest assured, my love, I carry it all in my heart. I remember everything. Every smile, every tear. I, I've, I've gathered it all. I savor you in a thousand ways every day. I, I wish... I wish I was better at telling you just how deeply I feel about all this, about you. Uh, I ain't never been caught up like this before. It's uncharted territory for your boy. But then again, maybe falling in love wouldn't feel like falling if it wasn't such a mystery. Hey, hey, but where's the fun in that? There's a there's a kind of sweetness to the suffering. All this worry, all this caring. <sighs> Maybe there are no boundaries. I guess we'll just have to explore and find out together. Hey, but I ain't no fool. I know things have to change. Everything evolves naturally over time. I just, I just want you to know that I'm not afraid. I'm going to do right by you. My intentions for your love and our future together? Hey, it's about as honorable as anything I've ever felt. It's pure and good. <laughs> That sounds, that sounds kind of dumb coming from me, but I mean it. I'll make you happy, baby. You'll see. I know that when we're together, there ain't nothing we can't do. There's no mountain we can't move. Nothing. Hey, baby, are you waking up? Nah, 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 shh. You're good. Keep on sleeping, baby doll. And now, looking forward to the future, I see a little cottage tucked away in the countryside. We fix it up together. Live out our dreams. We could write. Paint and draw. <laughs> Sing in the shower together. All of that. All that silly stuff. I want it all. And I want it with you. <sighs> we can even make you a little garden. 
And if you still have bad days, you can go out there and sit a while. Surround yourself with the flowers. And I'll be with you. You'll never have another lonely day. One day, the bad times will be so far behind us. I love you. I love you so damn much. When I look at you, when I hear your voice, my heart swells. You are the single best thing in my life. I cherish you. I adore you. In my eyes, there ain't nothing that shines brighter than you. One day, someday, I'll be able to say all this when you look at me in my eyes. And I'm sorry that I can't. Yet. Hmm? Babe? No, 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 no. It's alright. Everything's fine. Go back to sleep. I was just coming to bed. Good night. Hey. Yo. It's like three in the morning. You coming to bed or what? Uh-huh. Yeah, five minutes ago was like two hours ago. What you working on anyways? Oh, yeah? And when's that shit due? Like, tomorrow? Oh, next week? You mean to tell me you've been killing yourself over something that's due next fucking week? Oh, my God. Why are you like this? Come on. You always do this to yourself. No. No. Shut up. You're like almost done with this thing. It's three in the fucking morning. And this shit ain't due till next week. It's gonna be here tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. And you'll have plenty of time to finish up and polish it up by then. For fuck's sake. Come on. Go to sleep. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know, I know. I heard it all before. You're the type A, hard-working person. Gotta carry the entire project on your back. I totally get it. It's three in the morning, and it's been bedtime since for fucking ever ago. And I'm tired, and you're tired, and we... No, 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 you are definitely tired. Look, I make dark circles look good. I got that covered for the both of us. I don't need you to go looking like a pangoro because you stayed up late trying to finish some project that's literally due next week. No, come on. It, we gotta go to sleep. Please. Please. Come on. For me. For your boy. Oh. Oh. Here it comes. Don't yawn. Oh, don't yawn. If you yawn, you lose. And you don't want to lose. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> oh, damn it. Now you got me yawning. Oh, all right, for real, so. It's time for bed. So let's just save this. 
save, 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 saving. Would you just come on? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Here, control S. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. You like them keyboard shortcuts? So, we're just gonna save this shit before you lose like 20 hours of work. Here we go. Okay. All right. Step away from the laptop. We're gonna put it away. Because it's been working diligently all day. Good night, laptop. Good night. And, and, and come here, you. Ugh. Come on, I'm going to scoop you up. Because <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> why? Because fuck you, that's why. Come on, you are going the fuck to sleep. We're going to get in the nice big comfy bed and we're going to pass the fuck out. No. Quit your whining. I don't care if you're not tired. You're always giving me crap for working too hard. Guzma, you should probably take a break. Guzma, you're going to burn yourself out. I don't want to hear it from you tomorrow morning or afternoon or whenever the hell you decide to wake up that your body hurts because you burned yourself out and didn't stop to rest for a bit. So now it's your turn. <sighs> Sweetheart, you're going to burn yourself out if you keep working all night. So now it's time to take a break with an eight-ish hour nap. Here you go. Come on. You get in the bed. There. There. There we go. Gonna... Gonna tuck you, cuz... What? Ugh. <sighs> Really? Fine, fine. Go brush your teeth so we can all go to sleep at a reasonable hour like the pair of old fogies that we are. Oh, I'm getting in bed. Now, you done? Good. Man, I'm... The oh, what's this? Okay, okay. <laughs> snuggle bug. See? You wouldn't have been able to snuggle up with me like this if you kept on working all night. Now you're snug as a bug in a bed. <laughs> oh. Look like you're gonna clock out any second now, sleepyhead. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hey, you still with me? <laughs> mm. You're cute. But you're about to pass out. How about we call it a night, huh? We continue playing around like this tomorrow. And that's fine with me. Nah, nah. Don't apologize. <sighs> Come here. Let me just cuddle up to you a little closer. You good? Hmm. Good. Uh, I guess tomorrow you're going to lock yourself up in your room so you can finish your project, huh? <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah, at least you're honest. I guess I'll manage. I'll tell the squad to fuck off tomorrow so you can work on your thing. I'll even play you some motivational music in the background to get you pumped. Like an 80s montage. 
<laughs> no, no. I got dinner. I don't know what I'll make, but I'll try not to burn the house down cooking it. Oh, well, okay. Or I could just get takeout. Yeah. Alright. Well, don't worry about any of that. Tomorrow, I'll play support. Make sure you're taken care of and you can work on your thing. So long as you sleep. <laughs> breakfast? Well, yeah, what about breakfast? <laughs> yeah. What you want? Pancakes? <laughs> Alright. One boss man special for the hard working snuggle bug. With extra whipped cream. I got you. Now, shut those pretty eyes of yours, okay? You dream about pancakes, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Damn. How did you win again? That's, what, like five out of nine? How about we go for six out of eleven this time around? Hey. You look like something's on your mind. What's bothering you? Hey, for real, you know you can tell me anything, right? We've been friends for years, pals, buddies. If there's anything I can do to help, I'll do it. You know I will. Is, it, is someone bothering you at work? School? What is it? I'll drive over there right now at... Okay, good. I was afraid I'd have to throw some hands there for a second. Alright then, so what's the deal? Oh. Oh. You, uh... You got somebody you want to ask out, huh? Well, that's, uh... <laughs> that's awesome! I mean, uh... It, um, anybody would be lucky to get your attention. You're smart, fun as hell, creative, sweet. Hey, and you're not, you're not too shabby at board games either, as you can see. Hey, hey, you're a little feisty too, but you're still worried. What's the matter? You've... You've never kissed anyone before? Oh shit, that's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, hell. I didn't kiss anybody till I was... Pfft, an old geezer. <laughs> okay, maybe not quite, but... You know, I was no, uh, spring chicken. And I was nervous as hell. Scared I'd, like... Smash my teeth against theirs, or they'd feel how sweaty my palms were. Shoot, I was afraid I'd be no good. But it turned out alright. Sure, it took a few tries to get it right, but... Doesn't anything? No one's expecting you to be an expert on your first time. That's what experience is for. And experience can be fun. Hey, you ain't gotta be nervous. Like I said, anyone is gonna be so mesmerized by you that it won't matter. Not that you won't matter, that you won't be a good kisser. I mean, I mean like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell, they'll be so, they'll be so jacked up. They might be the one who's worried about, uh, you know, not not kissing you right. Wait, what? You wanna... 
you want to practice with me. Smooching and shit. What? No, 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 no. It's not that I don't want to kiss you, but I, I, I just, you know, don't want to make it awkward being your friend and everything. <sighs> no. Oh, that's not... That's not what makes it awkward? How? You'd feel more comfortable trying it with somebody you trust. I, uh... Yeah, I get that. I have to say. I do, uh, feel pretty honored. You're really sure you want to? It, yeah, I mean, hey, I did say I'd do anything to help, didn't I? <laughs> you do have a way of convincing me. Well, uh, where do you want to start? Okay, geez. You really, uh, don't know a whole lot about kissing, huh? I, I don't mean anything by it, but... It's just good to know that we're starting with the basics. <laughs> so, uh, just follow my lead, all right? When you're kissing somebody, the first big rule is to keep your eyes closed. Leaving them open just makes it super awkward for the both of you. Trust me. Lesson learned. Well, it, you'll be able to see where you're going. It's, it, you, you gotta get a feel for it. That's... You'll see. You, you'll see. Well, you won't see because your eyes are closed, but you'll see. And uh, as you get closer, you're going to want to tilt your head to the side a little bit so your noses don't, you know, smash right into each other. When you're not trying to have a fender bender when you're trying to get your smooch on, you know. I mean, n nose kisses are cute too, but one step at a time. Good. You got it. Another thing is, you have to be relaxed. Relaxed. You have to be wanting a kiss, not bracing for impact. So just take a deep breath. Part your lips just a little bit. You don't want to, you don't want to have them pursed like that. Yeah. Here, I'll show you. Just like this. You don't mind me touching your face, do you? <laughs> Alright. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> um Me nervous? <laughs> Shit, no, I'm I'm like a pro. I'm like a, I'm like a I'm some kind of superstar kisser, trust me. Um <clears throat> I, uh, I always have a hard time figuring out where to put my hands. So, uh, you, you got options. For now, we could just hold hands. Well, otherwise we'd be, like, holding each other and getting real, like, up in each other's shit. One, we'll just stick with the kissing for now. <laughs> um, oh. Oh, no, sorry, I just, I never realized how hands just talk, how, 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 <laughs> um, I never realized how soft your hands were before, and uh, sometimes when you're, when you're smooching, it's good to kind of give each other a little squeeze, you know, whether you're holding hands or, you know, whatever else. Just a little reassurance that you're there. Hey. Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want me to kiss you? What? Huh? Oh, my hands. My hands really are sweating, huh? <laughs> Sorry. All right. So I am a little nervous. 
It's just that this is important to you. Being your first kiss and everything. I don't want to miss meeting your expectations. <laughs> I could never disappoint you. Huh? Well, that's awfully nice of you to say. And I hope you know you could never, ever disappoint me. <laughs> All right. It's now or never, huh? Here we go. Judging by the look on your face, I can tell that you liked it. I told you there was nothing to be worried about. Did I enjoy it? Shit. Of course. Hell yeah, I did. Anything I do with you is enjoyable. <sighs> yeah. You can try kissing me next. No, 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 there's nothing wrong, I promise. Go ahead. I'm willing and waiting. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I, uh, wasn't expecting you to put your hands on my chest like that. Uh, well, alright, if you're gonna be real close to me like that, do you mind if I put my hands, like, here? I cool. Being this close to you like this, it's, uh, it's like I can feel your heart beating mine, thundering through my veins. Hey, 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 hey. Look at me. Right now. It's just you and me. There ain't no one else in the world. Only us. You take the lead, and I'll follow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. Nose bumps happen to the best of us. <laughs> Go ahead. Try again. Damn, you're a quick fucking learner. Stop. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this. It, it's just... It's not fair to you. I mean, here you are asking for me to, for, for me to help. And, uh... And I just, uh... You trusted me enough to help you with this, right? And I gotta be honest with you in return. Recently, I, uh... Re recently, well, maybe not that recently, but lately, I, uh, I've really started to like you more than I already did, in a way that was more than just liking a friend, you know? So when you said you wanted to ask somebody else out, I, you know, it kind of freaked me out a little. And I'm, uh, and I'm happy, uh, I'm more than happy, actually, for you, doing what you want, you deserve the world, you deserve whoever you want, because you, 
hey, you're a gem. And, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I guess I'm bummed out that I never really took a chance. And then you were asking me to teach you how to kiss, and I took advantage of that. Uh, I know, I know, look, I know you asked, but you didn't have all the information you needed. You needed to know that, to me, it wasn't the idea of kissing you, being close to you like this, you against me, that wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't just for fun to help you out. <laughs> It, uh, it's a chance I never really got to take. Can you forgive me for that? I'm, I'm so sorry. Mm. 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 What was that? I, I don't understand. Why are you still kissing me? What? Wait, wait. You wanted to learn how to kiss to impress me? Why do you need to impress me? I'm already impressed. <laughs> I already I already think the world of you. So, does that mean... Does that mean that the person you wanted to impress, and the person you wanted to ask out, are the same the same person because that makes it sound like that makes it sound like oh I see hey you've never had to do anything to impress me I like you just the way you are the way your eyes crinkle when you laugh your softness when it comes to living life but that feistiness that comes out when it needs to. The times you always call me to tell me your weird dreams. Or how you like never eat with tablespoons. All that weird, quirky, wonderful shit that makes you you. Uh, I, I love all of that. And as I realized how much of that stuff I loved, I... I realize that that just means that I love you. And, uh... I, uh, uh hey. It... It means the world to hear you say those words to me. I guess even after all these years of knowing each other... There's still a lot about us that we gotta figure out, huh? About each other. In a way, that's pretty damn exciting. Mm. I'm looking forward to get to know every little part of you. What? Uh, I don't. That wasn't meant to. <laughs> that wasn't meant to sound like it did. I just. I was just saying, like the your heart. And your, your soul and stuff. All that mushy shit. That's what I meant. Not. Not. The, uh, the other. The the physical stuff. I You know what? You should probably just kiss me and shut me up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, <sighs> shit. Out of all the times for it to start pouring, it's gotta be when we're out and about. I know I nagged about climate change or whatever, but damn, it's like someone pissed Kyogre off or something. Ugh. Well, at least we found a big enough tree to have as a natural umbrella. Seriously, it's like this storm came out of nowhere. And who knows when it'll let up. 
Huh? What do you mean, how's this any different from Potel? It's not always raining. I mean, yeah, we get some big rainfalls now and then. But come on, babe. Besides, at least back home we got a roof over our heads instead of leaves and... Shit. Whatever Pokemon's nesting up there. Whoa, whoa, hey, you're out of line. My hair isn't a nest. I might not make it look, you know, decent and dapper, but you gotta admit, there ain't anyone else who can pull this off except yours truly. Uh, hey babe, are you good? You're not cold, are you? You're like hugging yourself pretty tight over there. Uh-huh. Fine. Yeah, then why do you still got your arms and hands covering your chest, huh? I knew you could be shy about this, but... Hey, it's pretty damn adorable, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, whoa. Easy. I'm not making fun of you, boo. Like I said, it's cute seeing y'all shy. And as much as I want to keep teasing you, we gotta start heading home. Hmm. The rain soaking your shirt's really bugging you, huh? Alright, alright, I got it. Here. Yeah. You can wear my jacket until we get home. That way, you can at least stay dry. Well, at least... As much as you can be. Hey, look. It's what we got. Hey, I see you eyeballing my jacket all the time. I know you want it. So, come on. Put it on. Me? I'll be fine. Not the first time I ran out in the rain without my jacket. Besides, on the off chance I do get sick, I happen to be lucky enough to have a cute nurse to help me get better. And also, don't lie, the thought of me with my shirt all wet and clingy is pretty nice, right? <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm done. Now come on, let's hurry home before the storm gets worse. <laughs> hey. No, I said it before, but you really do look cute with my jacket. Kind of makes me feel a little warmth in this cold, tired heart of mine. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, not like that. I swear, your mind is in the gutter when I least expect it. But I guess I should expect it by now, huh, you little knucklehead? <laughs> What I mean is, seeing you hold on to something of mine, it makes me happy. It lets me know that I really mean something to you. Oh, when have I seen you with my stuff? Well... <clears throat> You've swiped my glasses a few times before going out. Then there's times when I've been away and I get back and find you sleeping. Now. That's pretty normal, but you sleeping with my jacket and my shirt. I mean, I know I got a few pairs, but hmm, surprised I don't find you at the bottom of the pile. Oh, and don't think I didn't see you drinking out of my special mug. I, <laughs> hey, you're lucky I love you, because if it was anyone else, well, they'd be getting a stern talking to. But, eh, most of the time, it's fine. And, anyways, I know you'd probably like a stern talking to from your boy. <laughs> oh, come on, why are you embarrassed? I'm not mad or anything. How could I be? <laughs> you ain't bothering me none. And like I said... It makes me happy seeing that sort of thing from you. But, uh, for real, what's, what's the deal with the jacket? 
You got some kind of fixation? I, I mean, hey, look, don't get me wrong. It's my favorite. But if you want one like mine, we can just go get you one. No? Well, then why? Oh. <laughs> it feels like me. It feels like I'm hugging on you, huh? Well, you... I... You dummy. If you wanted hugs and shit, you could have just told me in the first place. Fuck. I'd wrap you up in a hug with my jacket around us both. You just... I swear, you're full of surprises. <laughs> My face is red. Look who's talking. You're redder than a cherry. <laughs> hey, hold up. You know... There's something that I can do that you can't pull off with my jacket alone. You gotta have my touch in order to have it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But if you want to keep playing innocent, well, I guess I can show you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. See? Only I can take your breath away. Just like that. Mm hmm. You want a little more? Right out here? Smooching in the rain? Oh, I... <laughs> I ain't complaining. Look at us. What is this? Some kind of sappy ass rom com? And I'm the one who told us we had to hurry home. <laughs> oh, shit. No, no. Wipe that smirk off your face. I'm not getting sick. It was just a coincidence. Plus, it's kind of cold out if you hadn't noticed. Duh, huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Laugh it up, babe. If you jinxed it, I'm expecting the whole nurse treatment. I'm talking the outfit and everything. We'll see who has the last laugh then. Come on. Let's go home. <laughs>